this one time I did this puzzle, just 500 pieces, uh, and I timed myself to do it as fast as possible. Unfortunately, I don't remember how fast I got, but I have put together this puzzle I don't even know how many times. You can even see it on the box that it's getting worn because I've been using it so much. I love this puzzle. I have several other puzzles too, but that I really enjoy. But this may be my favorite simply because I've done it so many times. How I usually do puzzles is to, well, find all the side pieces and the corners. For some reason I always find the corners to be very important to find. Luckily I can show off one. So I find all the four uh, corners and then I find all the side pieces, put it together and then I pick like one thing to start off with. This puzzle, however, I do differently. Because I've done it so many times, although I will admit, currently it's like a couple of years, I think, two or three years since I last did it, and um, yeah, it will take me a little bit longer probably this time, but this puzzle, I just grab a handful of pieces, and I didn't even have to look at the box because I know where they go, which... Honestly, it's kind of cool. And I know I just said I know where everything goes and then I realized, hey, I haven't done this in years, so I might have a bit of a problem. I'm not saying I do everything like exactly right, right away, but I have a general idea about where the pieces go, which I think that's pretty cool because I've done it so many times. Though some of the sky pieces, I mean, they're all blue. How am I to know where exactly it goes? And the answer is, well, I'm not saying I can. Not immediately. Wow, it's a really long time since I last did this one. I'm getting uncertain now. This will be interesting. At least I know some of it. considering how many times I've actually done it. I was wrong. I do not remember this as well as I thought I would. That's a bit annoying, in my opinion. And yes, I know, since I have the picture here, I do since it's apparently too long for me to remember how I did it, I do look at it a little bit. Which is so not my intention, but it kind of like happens unintentionally.
way more cohesive and I can see that things are scrambled in the wrong places. But eventually it'll work out. Besides, it's not like the ultimate goal is to do it as fast as possible. The goal is to enjoy it as much as you possibly can. At least that's that's my opinion on it. If if you do puzzles and you want to do all of them as just fast as you can, go for it. But well, I prefer to take my time and enjoy it, unless I'm having a competition with myself to see how fast I can do it and today would not be the ultimate day to do it because it's been way too long since I last did this. I have to say, way too long. slowly and surely coming together and, you know, make a picture out of it. That's the right word. I'm not native English speaking, so sometimes I miss the English words. But my intention was to put together a full time lapse of the whole thing. And then I realized that my camera and I had not agreed upon certain things, apparently, because it shut off. Turned itself off? I don't know. Point is, it did not want to play how I wanted to play, so you don't get to see everything, apparently. Then again, I could always do it again, but I don't know how to make my camera continuously film for a very long time without shutting off, so that... So if anyone knows how to do that, please let me know, because I obviously, apparently, don't. So there's that. I always take some uh, a bit more time to do deal with the top because, well, it's all blue. I like the color blue, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's hard to figure out what goes where when it's all blue. Obviously, you can see me currently struggling a bit. <laughs> um, but eventually I will get all these pieces too. At least I've always done that in the past, so I assume I will be able to do it this time too. I mean, some of these pieces are 
I don't know if you can see it properly, but they're worn out. And yeah, <laughs> if that's not a sign that I've done this puzzle a bazillion times, I don't know what is. And jeez. As I said, I haven't done this in such a long time. Oh my gosh. Wow. I feel sorry for some of the pieces. They've been worn out. And when I started just this, putting this together earlier, because the last puzzle I did, sure, oh, it's starting to be a while ago already, but the last puzzle I did was, I don't know, um, maybe... Oh, I really don't remember clearly. And I don't remember where this one is going. Oh, obviously. Um, but the last puzzle I did was like 2,000 pieces, I think. So I just imagined this were to be bigger, which is weird because this is only 500 pieces. So it will obviously be smaller than a 2,000 one. But, eventually, it all goes together. And there you have it. That's the whole puzzle. All done. All 500 pieces of them. And if you wonder what I do with the puzzles after I, well, puzzle them, I do this. Because I would not have space enough to put all of them, glue them together and put them up on my walls. And I like being able to do the puzzle many times. So, this is what I always do when I'm done. I take them apart, and put them back in the box, so they're ready for next time. Not this one because it's 500 pieces and I have done it I don't know how many times but some of the bigger ones like the two and three thousand ones even if even the ones with a thousand pieces sometimes when I'm done I don't do take them apart right away I usually let them sit basically for a day or two so I can enjoy the fruits of my labor of having done a puzzle but this one I've done so many times that, yeah, I don't need to have that. And besides, as soon as I clear off the table with one puzzle, I can start a new one if I want to. Unless I'm like gonna have like dinner guests or something, because then we would have to use this table. Or if I have too many plants at that point, because sometimes the plants take over my home. But that was today's puzzle. I hope you enjoy 
I don't know how I'm going to edit this, so that's going to be interesting for me. I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching and you might see me again in another video. What will happen in that one? I have no idea. Maybe another puzzle, maybe something else. Either way, I hope you have a nice day and we'll see you again.